श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर 18 पार्ट टू फ्रॉम श्लोक नंबर 29 अर्जुन लॉर्ड सेड यू मस्ट नो दी थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ विजडम एंड डिटर्मिनेशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर क्वालिटीज एंड एट्रीब्यूट्स द विजडम दैट टीचेस हाउ टू डू वंस ड्यूटी वाइल रिमेनिंग द हाउस होल्डर इन द नेम ऑफ गॉड एंड विजडम that understands duty and non duty fear and fearlessness attachment and non attachment is known as satvik duty but arjun the wisdom that does not distinguish between one's religion and sin or duty or non duty is known as rajasik duty and the wisdom that considers non duty as duty sin as religion and considers only wrong as right is called tamasic duty tamasic wisdom a path the determination of mind which emerges out of devotion to the almighty the god and is carried out by the person with mind soul and body is called satvik determination but when a person acts to fulfill his determination which has arrived with a keen desire to attain the results he is full of attachment it is known as rajasik and path the determination of the evil minded person who engages in fear worry laziness sorrow and because of which he cannot come out of these negative emotions is called tamasic determination arjun even the happiness is of three kinds which i'll explain to you happiness which is derived from love of god meditation and service of god and that which causes the end of all sorrows through which the happiness appears to be cumbersome in the beginning but as a result it is like amrit is known as satvik happiness but the happiness which is derived out of senses and sensibilities though it appears heavenly during the enjoyment but carries the feeling of guilt at the end it is known as rajasik however the happiness which stupefies the soul in the beginning or in the end such happiness which is perceived through laziness sleep inaction is known as tamasic happiness arjun neither on this earth nor in the heaven is there any such creature who is free from these three gunas because the entire universe is created out of maya or illusion paratampa brahman kshatriya vaishya and shudra are the four categories of humans which are divided according to their attributes born out of the juxtaposition of these three gunas one who controls his mind his senses and embraces difficulties in order to carry out his duty one who remains pure and clean from body mind and soul one who is able to pardon others of their sin one who is able to keep his sense and body in a simple form and one who is devoted to god and keenly studies the scriptures through these realizes god is natural brahman valor glory patience skill and ability to donate and the courage which forbids a person to run away from the battle these are qualities of a kshatriya and constitute his duty farming breeding cows trading and honest behavior these are the natural duties of the vaishya and serving all others three classes is the natural duty of a shudra the person who is deeply concerned with the duty and carries it out to the best of ability achieves salvation i shall explain to you how through performance of one's duty one can achieve salvation when a person worships the creator who has created everyone and who is omnipresent through performance of his duty he achieves salvation performance of one's duty 
even when the same is ordinary far from, is far better from carrying out duties of others even if these are of exceptional nature therefore o son of kunti even if your own duty carries out some blemishes with it it is far better to perform these because one can never be committed to sin if one is performing one's duty the person whose wisdom rids him of attachment all desires and who is full of control of his mind achieves realization through unattached karma yoga now i shall explain to you the manner in which devotion to gyan yoga leads to unattached salvation thereafter the devotee becomes one with god the person who possesses pure intellect eats light timely and satvik meals often relinquishes speech and sits in a lonely place be breathes pure air satvik decision is able to control his mind speech and body the person who is who has completely destroyed his attachment jealousy and who has adopted strong vairagya and has relinquished ego arrogance anger desire and remains in meditation such a selfless soul keeps his mind in the almighty and is worthy of becoming inseparable one with the almighty thereafter that realized person with the happy mind neither does he feel sorry for anything nor does he hold any desire with that pure devotion he understands me and my true nature and size thereafter through constant devotion he ultimately gets into me or assumes my form and becomes one with me the karam yogi who has submitted himself wholeheartedly to me and who carries out his duty only for my sake in fact with my grace assumes my form you should dedicate all your deeds to me from the core of your heart and keeping a stable mind you should submit yourself to me and concentrate on my form in this manner by fixing your mind on my form you will be able to overcome all difficulties with my grace but if because of your personal ego you do not pay heed to my advice you will lose your purpose of life and will be self defeated thus said lord krishna and this is part 2 of chapter 18 of the bhagavad gita